Okay, everything is set and everything is recording. Hey, what's happening everyone? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of the Gaming News, where I run down the list of all the gaming news, facts, rumors, trivia, and everything coming out of the gaming industry this week. But this week, that's not true. So, <laughs> what I mean by that is uh, I'm just going to be speaking openly and plainly, and there's really nothing much to that. So I'm going to just spitball and, you know, go from there. But I do want to talk about Grand Theft Auto 6. So, let's just start it off. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, for a long time, people are, you know, craving Grand Theft Auto 6. People are, you know, wanting them to release it already. That it's taking a very long fucking time. And yada, and yada, and yada, and yada. But my thoughts on Grand Theft Auto taking a massive amount of time is that it needs to. Now, this idea from for me sparked from me watching some ordinary gator gamers ga gamers, some ordinary gamers uh, featuring uh, Mudahar. Um, he put out some extremely valid points, and I actually very much agree with what he had to say. That after GTA Five was just the commercial hit that it was. And for how many, you know, things that that game had going for it. For how, you know, monumental that game is. Rockstar has always been the developers that just wanted to have the game top the last. And if GTA 6 does not match the hype that GTA 5 did, there is no reason for it to exist. And they will just consider it a failure, which is just not something that we want. Now, we know some, a lot of developers, when, like, a game flops, it's deemed a failure and then, you know, subsequently abandoned. And for GTA 6, that cannot happen. For as many years as GTA 5 has been, like, a, a pillar for gaming at the moment. And what I mean by pillar of gaming is that it's just a very well-known video game that has a lot of critical acclaim there's a lot of just you know hype behind around it and obviously everyone swears by gta 5 i've played gta 5 i'm really not the biggest gta player but i've played gta 5 and that's that's something to say but with that being said there is a lot of just nuance behind having gta be as massive as it needs to be. GTA 6 cannot feel less than GTA 5, and Rockstar knows this. And that's going to take a very, very long time. So my thought process is that for a long, for as long as it's going to be taking to develop, no matter what, there's going to be hype around GTA. Now, should they perhaps give us teasers or something tell us where they are you know maybe that's a good idea and I'm not gonna say that every game should do this yeah there are some games that take a very very long time but for as old as GTA 5 is which just Jesus GTA 5 has been you know 2013 it's been 10 years. GTA 5 released... As of... 10 years ago. And I understand that that's a very long time for GTA uh, 5 to be sitting there. And believe me, it's been dominating for the past 10 years. Oh my god, has it. But do I think that it's... You know, it's getting sale? No. 
No. But what I do think is that the game needs to be updated to match what, you know, the hype is around it. Like, if they want to do something, like, nuanced, I would say go ahead and, like, throw Easter eggs into, like, the next update of GTA V. Have, because people are already scouting GTA V. People have made connections with, you know, artwork and, you know, pictures of, you know, the newest updates and stuff. Where they said, hey, there's a six in there. They're, uh, they are teasing. They are teasing. I'm like, and they're, it, there's nothing there. You know what I mean? There, you know, that may be a six somewhere, but, you know, that's just the way the thumbnail is. But in general... What I'm trying to say is this. GTA 6 needs to be as hyped as GTA 5 was. And if GTA 6 isn't that, then Rockstar has failed in that duty. It's been 10 years since the last GTA game. And do I think that at the moment they should give us something to go on? Like tell us where it is you know what I mean I I think they should and if you guys think so too again write down in the comments section below and let me let me know but I'm just spitballing here just straight from like the dome so if I sound like you know I am adding too many fucking Ums, ahs, and stuff. Yeah, because I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna admit I'm not that fucking bright when it comes to free speaking. But what I'm just saying is, I think GTA 6 needs to have significant hype around it. And the more people wait, the more people are just not gonna believe it's coming. So do I think Rockstar should give us some kind of update? Because all the updates are coming from people like me. Like, news, um, like, gaming news channels that really do not know much else other than what we are being told. And that's why I say, hey, do not believe every fucking thing that you hear on the internet. Especially coming from me, because I even get things wrong. And you know what? I am, I am absolutely fallible for that. So, what I can say is just, right now, I don't, I don't get first-hand knowledge. I don't, no one is. Nobody knows, and do not take anything as official unless it comes from Rockstar. Please, Rocksteady, Rockstar, you know what I mean. But, don't take anything official unless it comes from the game manufacturer themselves. The game developers know more than we will ever know. Please do not take us as some, you know, mystical gurus on, you know, these games releases. We know as much as you guys know. The, the thing is, we just do our research. And we try to connect some dots. That's what we do. That's what we, that's what we are. And the only thing that, you know, trumps us at the moment is the developers themselves. And they are really being silent on GTA. So I'm hoping, like, I, I don't think they're going to be coming out for the next, like, two or three years. At least. If, if Am I wrong? Could I be wrong? I, I hope I am. Like, everyone is dying for this game, but there is not no hint, no, like, nothing that tells us when this game is going to be coming. And it's it's been ten years, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm trying to keep my head as, you know... As firmly in place as possible, I really want this game to come out so that people can, you know, move on and, you know, it can be the critical acclaim that, critically acclaimed game that it, it's being touted as. But the more we wait, the more that I, I don't think that's going to happen. And do I think, um, do I think, uh, the game developers are, you know, hard at work on it? Absolutely. They, they've always been that way. But... For as big as GTA 5 is, I don't expect GTA 6 to be out for another two or three years. At least that's my thought process. And it'll probably be another like seven months before we even hear anything about it. 
so until we get some really good news, I'm not going to be covering GTA 6 much anymore unless there's significant news that I, I can say, hey, this is it. But until then, I'm going to stop mentioning GTA 6. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate you guys this time, and I hope everyone enjoyed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, and I hope everyone has a beautiful day. If you guys have not yet, go down in the description down below. There's all of our lovely and beautiful content creators. Go check them all out. They're a lovely bunch of coconuts, and I can guarantee you, if you guys like my stuff, you guys are going to like them there, so go and check them out. I hope everyone enjoyed. But until then, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.